In today's video, we're going to talk about how to open an encapsulated PostScript file by using Adobe Illustrator. Go to the File Manager and open it. Then browse to the location of the EPS file and open it. Right-click on the EPS file, then select the option Open with Adobe Illustrator. Next, create a file in Adobe Illustrator and drag the EPS file into the blank space you created. Lastly, save the file in a format of your liking. By using Adobe Photoshop. You start by opening the Adobe Photoshop app on your computer. Click on the File Manager and locate the EPS file, then open it. You'll notice that a window will pop up asking you whether you want to rasterize EPS format. Click Allow for it to open. You will see the EPS file in your workspace. Here, you can edit or use it on a background image of your choice. Can you open EPS files using Figma? No, Figma currently doesn't support EPS files because it is a proprietary model, which means that nobody else can use or advance the file format except for Adobe as they created it. Can you open EPS files on the phone? Yes, it is possible to open EPS files on your phone. First, you have to download the EPS file as a zipped folder, then go to Open Files and select Downloads. Choose the EPS file and you'll notice that the file will unzip itself automatically. Your phone will then prompt you to the Browse page. Here, you can open the folder and select the unzipped EPS file. Can you open EPS files using Inkscape? Yes, you can open an EPS file in Inkscape, but the catch here is that you have to first import the file to the Inkscape software. You'll notice that a pop-up message will notify you that it cannot be opened. So you have to search for GhostScript in the browser. This, together with Inkscape, opens up the EPS files directly. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.